uh, how to deposit fungal cultures or bacterial cultures once you got a sequence report from the uh, sequencing organization so once you got if you want to uh, sequence a fungal culture or bacterial culture uh, uh, you uh, you send the, some cultures to the uh, represented organizations or whatever the sequencing uh, companies so once you got a report you got uh, two files like this uh, the first one is uh, uh, faster format files like this F F S T a faster format like this it will show F7 in the sense uh, so remember uh, whatever you wrote on uh, petri plates uh, the same data will appear so let us consider if the F7 you write uh, isolate number F7 they will give F7 isolate number is F7 F9 isolate number is F9 they will give uh, ITS1 primer and ITS4 primer they will uh, 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 for give faster format for ITS1 and ITS4 so the two files will uh, they will give something like that so here the faster format won't uh, open in your Windows 10 uh, website, but don't uh, I mean Windows 10 uh, uh, versions, but uh, that won't be a big issue. And the second one is uh, sequencing data, so it's a complete sequencing data. Let me show you. Uh, let us consider if it's a F9 sample that had sent five fungal cultures one week before, uh, so they got completely sequenced now. They had sent uh, a data like this, so this is a complete uh, see. We can see here this is a gel documentation photo. Uh, this is the five cultures, uh, it's about uh, four and three, whatever uh, they are given here. One indicates F1, two indicates F4. 3 indicates F7, 4 indicates F9, 5 indicates F13, something like that. This is the full uh, uh, gel documentation photo. Uh, you can use it for your uh, thesis. And uh, this is the data, all the sequence of data. They will give something like this. So. Uh, uh, so the complete uh, result will be at the end of uh, here we can see the here so uh, the sample F9 or F9 sample that sent to the sequencing organization or the sequencing company is Fusarium Calmorum Fusarium Calmorum something like that they had uh, 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 sequenced and give all the data so now I will show you how to uh, deposit in the NCBA so go to Google and type it uh, NCBI NCBI so it will uh, show a page like this national center for biotechnology information then uh, click uh, open and if you have already account it will shows like this your email id will appears on the right side if you don't have account you can uh, link and uh, link it to google so that uh, a new account will be opened automatically once you uh, got a new account you will uh, uh, your email id will be play, uh, appears on the right side then you can uh, uh, you can a page will open like this then you can see submit uh, deposit data or manuscript into ncba click on to this uh, once you got clicked uh, it will open something like that make sure that your internet got connected with Wi-Fi or uh, uh, any uh, uh, internet sources so once you got opened uh, a page will open like this that is a national uh, library of uh, medicine something like it will open so what you want to sequence or what you want to submit here will show something like that because we used ITS and uh, ITS primers because for normally fungals because they actually sent fungal culture so for fungi mostly they will use uh, a basic uh, primer that is ITS 1 to ITS 4 primers they use it. so I am uh, clicking here ITS so once you got clicked ITS it will show something like that GenBank submitting ribosomal RNA or RNA something like that will shows then uh, click on to GenBank uh, once you got uh, click on to GenBank it will uh, once uh, it will open a new page something like that then you can give to submit once you got scroll down you can uh, 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 shows uh, uh, a blue color uh, submit button then once you got uh, click and it will open a new page something like this so these are all the already seek uh, submitted data so before that I already submitted two uh, uh, you know uh, I mean the sequenced data so uh, once you got opened all the data will be appeared on the bottom of your uh you know account so you will a page new page will be opened like this once uh, you got uh, gen bank or new submission so you're going to submit a new lead so something uh, you can uh, uh, click to new submission so once you got uh, uh, once you click a new submission it will uh, a gen bank submission number will be given so there are different types of step submission type submitter uh, sequence or something like that it will show many uh, we have to fill up one by one let me show you so the first step is submission type and uh, what do you want to sequence and contents you can uh, if what like, remember if it is a fungal culture so if you are sequencing or if you are already sequenced fungal culture if you want to deposit in ncba this is the common procedure for almost all so what do you want to sequence i'm telling you for fungal culture bacteria may little bit varies i'm not sure about it so this is uh, what do you want to sequence uh, contains so rrna or or its primers because we use its primers here so what type of rrna or rna because uh, we know that uh, fungi is a eukaryote you can give second one eukaryotic nuclear rna or rna its then what do you uh, uh, what do of this uh, 
eukaryotic nuclear RNA or RNA ITS primary content. You can simply click uh, the first one contains ITS regions, uh, something like that it will show. So you can always click if it is a fungi, you can always click the first one. So then you can submit something, whatever you want to. Uh, it would, it, you don't need to wor uh, worry about this because it won't appear on your data. So simply give if it is isolate number is a 9 or something, whatever you want to give, you can give it because I am uh, uh, going to submit my 9th isolate. So I am giving a uh, 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 fusarium 9 simply. So I am clicking continue. So once you uh, got click continue, then it will go to the second one submitter. So my data all already appears here because I already feed the data. So once you got the feed the data, it will automatically uh, uh, appears here. So only one thing that you have to is add is uh, your phone number. Once you got added your phone number, so you just uh, click submit. Uh, so once it will submit, it will go to the second one sequencing technology. That is a common, uh, quite common. Sanger Dudoxy sequencing. You can click to Sanger Dudoxy sequencing because mostly nowadays we are using Sanger technology or Sanger sequencing technology. Hope all will know that about that uh, uh, Sanger sequencing technology is a uh, genome uh, sequencing technology that is developed by Sanger in 1977. So the Sanger sequencing technology, otherwise called as Dudoxy sequencing, or chain termination method because it terminates the chains. So that is what called as chain termination method. Once you got to click the Sanger redox sequencing then you can uh, come down and assembly state it will show two types of assembly states unassembled sequence reads as assembled sequence because our data is already sequenced so it is assembled sequences yes. so you can uh, click to assembled sequence and you can click continue so once you got uh, uh, click open it and you can open a new page that is the sequences so sequences uh, will open here though then uh, it is something shows like this so what should this submission be released to the public so you can click on to release immediately following process Processing. so that it will use uh, immediate uh, publications so that uh, you can see first of format f a s t a fourth of format as i told you that uh, once you got sequence you will get uh, first of format results as well as uh, complete uh, sample reports so i'm uh, here I'm, I'm i'm going to submit the first of format of f9 isolate you can see here f9 isolate so here I am clicking the fast of format. We can see here ITS1 fast of format. Here ITS4 fast of format. FSTA something like that will be there. Uh, you don't worry about that. You can uh, you you can add whatever you want. Uh, I mean yeah, ITS1 or ITS4 fast of format. You can add whatever you want. Here there options are like choose file. You can choose the file by clicking uh, uh, this and you can go to uh, wherever you want to uh, where your file is located. So you can also drag it because the uh, dragging is very easy if you compare it to choosing files and you. Have we have to go to the particular location again and again so it's a better to drag it so i'm uh, uh, dragging here the fast of format of its one primer of isolate 9 i'm simply dragging here and pasting here so that the fast of format once you got dragged here it will take uh, one or two seconds to uh, uh, you know upload here once you got the uh, uploaded file you can it will shows like this a blue color and uh, delete options like this so once you got uh, uploaded and you can uh, click continue so once you got uh, click continue it will take uh, five or ten seconds because you are uh, uh, process data is the sequence uh, i mean uh, processed here so it will take uh, uh, five or ten seconds time it depends on your internet so once it got done uh, then it will show something like that you don't need to worry about like warning something like that you can click again continue once you got to click again continue it will again shows uh, uh, same thing like you know uh, processing data something like that done something like that again uh, yes uh, once it got uh, uh, okay by uh, you know uh, the, uh, gen bank so it will uh, open to the next one that is a source info it is isolate because you sent isolate in a petri plates yes so uh, you can add it to isolate you don't need to worry about it. whatever the culture it, it may be fusarium it may be slirosham it may be some other fungal culture whatever it is the uh, uh, you know uh, it is the same once it got opened you can add organ Organism, organism is uh, uh, a supply modify because for this organism uh, you have to go to isolate number nine here sample isolate number they will they had given the result at the end of uh, uh, you know uh, they will give result like this the sequence nine nine I'm, because I'm I, I'm uh, you know adding here the isolate nine the isolate nine is fusarium culmorum you can't copy it but you can uh, type manually fusarium Again, right? Fusarium culmorum. It shows uh, all the uh, sequence are uh, culmorum. Yes, culmorum will be already here. Uh, the preferred name, something like that. They are showing something like that. 
called morem whatever it is uh, you can add it called morem isolate number and i am adding the simply f9 that won't be a big issue you don't need to worry about that but uh, uh, make sure that organism what you entered uh, should uh, uh, be matched with your ncba data and make sure that this should be very very important because it appears in your field or the publishing data so isolation uh, source something like it shows first of all you can add host once you got add host you can on the right side you can see field so the host field a host is chili because uh, i had collected from uh, chili uh, so host is chili and if you want to add uh, other i know uh, more more fields so you can add it here add another field country uh, so here you can change uh, here by like you know collection data or collection by or collected data whatever it is here i am giving collected by because i am collected by isolation source something like that it is showing uh, now i am being here isolate uh, you know uh, uh, collected by so i am giving add field collected by my name i am adding my name here so that like that uh, you can add uh, many more fields i am adding only two fields uh, because it won't be a big issue uh, uh, how many fields that you add that won't be a big issue here so i am adding uh, two the first one is uh, first one is a host the second collected by myself and i am adding my name and giving continue so once you got uh, uh, continued it will uh, open the next one that is a source modifier something like that it will shows so next one it uh, yes once i got short modifier got uh, uh, cleared then will goes to reference uh, uh, because i already added uh, my name and my uh, uh, you know my research uh, uh, supervi uh, supervisor name uh, 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 shankar reddy and rajiv mohan sir so you can uh, once you got added if you, if you are a new one or if you are adding new you can add manually like this first name uh, m i uh, that is the middle name and last name you can add it manually once you already uh, got sequence or uh, i mean once you already got added before or already sequence as i told you that already deposited two sequence data so i already it will appear manu uh, uh, manually automatically so once you got added your name then you can apply sequence authors so it will show something like that uh, uh, then reference your uh, submission something like that or uh, physarium uh, reference your uh, recent submission something like it will show apply publications and publisher something like it will shows you don't need to worry about all this data or you can also uh, click unpublished something like that uh, title physarium uh, then uh, specify authors uh, same as uh, sequence author something like it will shows uh, specify author these authors it will give continue once you got uh, click continue uh, it will open uh, another page is it is showing something like that uh, yes once it got to okay uh, finally it will show some review on the right side whatever you submitted everything will be mentioned here make sure that once you got if there is any mistakes or anything else you can go back and you can edit if you are, if you did something mistake in source info you can go back and you can edit it and finally i was here at review and submit so uh, i had checking here whether i was giving f9 isolate its1 from everything will be here so the source organism is fusarium calmorum a reference everything will be here the same sequence data will appear in genbank make sure that whether you added everything is right. Right or not so uh, once it everything will be fine then you can click submit uh, once you got uh, a submitted or give final submission it will show something like that this is a fusarium 9 and number will be here it will shows like awaiting processing which means uh, it will take some uh, some days maybe uh, two days or three days uh, uh, it will to appear completely in uh, uh, you know Uh, gen bank uh, so this is your uh, submission number once you uh, once it got completely submitted you can add your sub 10565854 once you got you added your number you, uh, it will uh, completely appears in uh, gen bank so that uh, this is the way how to add it so this is uh, quite common for almost all fungal culture that may be fusarium or rhizoctonia whatever it is it is a uh, quite common for almost all uh, uh uh you know uh, organism i mean all fungal organism so once you got submit or if you want to submit a new again you can go to new submission or you can uh, uh, uh once you got uh, click a uh, new submission it will open again again you can go uh, i mean i can uh, uh, continue the pr same process so this is the way how to uh, submit uh, a fungal cultures uh, in gen bank or once you got sequence data uh, this is the way how to submit in uh, gen bank so uh, hope it will be helpful so let me show you one more thing that uh, uh, in my ms itself i already submitted two uh, gen bank uh, i mean uh, two uh, isolates let me show you uh, uh, again you can type ncbi once you got type ncbi uh, go to ncbi then all database will be here then you can type your uh, uh, database uh, i mean uh, they will give some identification number something like that my ug uh, sorry my pg identification number is mk0 uh 786 i think i'm not sure mkw0786 
uh, I think it's wrong. Uh, forgot actually. Uh, uh, it's not me. MK double eight zero. I think uh, actually I forgot uh, uh, the data name. Uh, so once you got type here, uh, whatever your sequencer are MK double eight zero six nine. Yes, yes, yes. I got it now. MK double eight zero six nine two. So this is uh, uh, one of my uh, sequenced data in MSC. Once you got added, yes, we can see here. Uh, this is uh, uh, in my uh, uh, PG topic is uh, based on Schlieroschem. So uh, this is one of one MK double eight zero six nine one. Once you got to open, you can see here all the everything, whatever the data that you will see. So you can you can see Rathliam species uh, who submitted Shankar Reddy and uh, other authors also will be uh, here. So this is the way how to uh, submit uh, uh, you know your uh, sequenced culture in NCBA. Hope it will be helpful.